Good evening and welcome to evening prayer on this Thursday the 12th of November. As this day draws to a close, let us pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. Now, as, our, as darkness is falling, wash away our transgressions. Cleanse us by your refining fire and make us temples of your Holy Spirit. By the light of Christ, dispel the darkness of our hearts and make us ready to enter your kingdom, where songs of praise forever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Give me the wings of faith to rise within the veil and see. The saints above, how great their joys, how bright their glories be. Once they were mourning here below and wet their couch with tears. They wrestled hard, as we do now, with sins and doubts and fears. I asked them whence their victory came. They, with ununited breath, ascribe their conquest to the Lamb their triumph to his death. They marked the footsteps that he trod, his zeal inspired their breast, and following their incarnate God, possessed the promised rest. Our glorious leader claims our praise for his own pattern given, which the long cloud of witnesses shows the path to heaven. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray of one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this evening is Psalm 42. As the deer longs for the water brook, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Now when I think on these things, I pour out my soul, how I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God, with a voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul, and why are you so disquieted within me? O put your trust in God. For I will yet give him thanks who is the help of my countenance and my God. My soul is heavy within me. Therefore will I remember you from the land of Jordan, and from Hermon and the hill of Mizra. Deep calls to deep in the thunders of your waters. All your breakers and waves have gone over me. The Lord will grant his loving kindness in the daytime. Through the night his song he will be with me. A prayer to the God of my life. I say to the God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? And why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? As they crush my bones, my enemies mock me. While all day long they say to me, where is now your God? Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? O put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks with the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our second psalm for this evening is Psalm 43. Give judgment for me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. Deliver me from the deceitful and the wicked. For you are the God of my refuge. Why have you cast me from you? And why go I so heavily when the enemy oppresses me? O oh, send out your light and your truth that they may lead me, and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling, that I may go to the altar of God, to the God of my joy and gladness, and on the lyre I will give, you th give thanks to you, O oh God, my God. Why are you so full of heaviness, O oh my soul, and why are you so disquieted within me? O oh, put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is a continuation of the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 7, verses 1 to 17. In the day of Azra, son of Jothan, son of Uzziah, king of Judah, king Rezan of Aram, and king Pekan, son of 
Ramallah of Israel, went up to attack Jerusalem, but could not mount an attack against it. When the house of David heard that Aram had allied himself with Ephraim, the heart of Azran and the heart of his people shook as the trees of the forest shake before the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahaz, he you and your son Shira Jahub, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool on the highway to the fuller's field, and say to him, Take heed, be quiet, do not fear, and do not let your heart be faint because of these two smouldering stumps of firebrands. Because of the fierce anger of Israel, of Rezin and Aram and the son of Remelah, because Aram with Ephraim and the son of Remelah have plotted evil against you, saying, Let us go up against Judah and cut off Jerusalem and conquer it for ourselves and make the son of Tabal king of it. Therefore thus says the Lord God, It shall not stand, and it shall not come to pass. For the head of Aram is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is Rezin. Within sixty-five years Ephraim will be shattered, no longer a people. The head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is the son of Remela. If you do not stand firm in faith, you shall not stand at all. Again the Lord spoke to Ahaz, uh, um, saying, Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as Sheol, or high as heaven. But Ahaz uh, said, I will not ask, and I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary mortals that you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is, woman is with child and shall bear a son, and you shall name him Emmanuel. He shall eat curds and honey for, by the time he knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good. For before the child knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land before, these, uh, before whose two kings you are in dread will be deserted. The Lord will bring on you and your people and on your ancestral house such days have, that have not come since the day of Ephraim departed from Judah, the king of Assyria. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. We have come before God's holy mountain to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. We have come before countless angels making festival, before the assembly of the firstborn citizens of heaven. We have come before God who is judge of all, before the spirits of the just made perfect. We have come before Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. We are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Let us give thanks and offer to God acceptable worship, full of reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints and light. Our New Testament reading is a continuation of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 38 to the end of the chapter. You have heard that it is said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist an evildoer. But if anyone strikes you on the right cheek, Offer the other also, and if anyone wants to sue you and take your coat, give your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go also the second mile. Give to everyone who begs from you, and do not refuse anyone who wants to borrow from you. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbour and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be children of your Father in heaven. For he makes his, his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rains on the righteous and on the unrighteous. For he loves those who love you, who rewards what, uh, what reward do you have? Do not even tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers and sisters, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand, and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel 
and afterwards receive me with glory. The righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He hath looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to, uh, <clears throat> to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that has been we give thanks that we have been able to show kindness to others in your name. We ask for your forgiveness, Lord, when we have not held up to the example that your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, has given to us. Help us, help us this evening and help us always, that we may live as good as possibly, that we may show kindness and compassion to all that we may be an embodiment, an example of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all who are being affected by the coronavirus. We pray for all who are in lockdown, all who are in self-isolation, all who have tested positive, we pray for those who are isolated and alone, for those who are separated from friends and families. We pray for those who are in hospital and those who have died. We pray for all who are mourning the loss of a loved one at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask for your blessing upon this benefice, on its parishes, on your church and your congregation. We pray for all who gather virtually, for all who are seeking to come together, though distant, to give thanks for you. We pray for patience and forbearance. We pray that we will not be overcome by a distress, that we may look always to you as a model and example. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the government and for Parliament and for all who have placed an authority over others. We pray that wisdom and compassion will come to them. We pray that they will know what is right, that they may do what is right for all and will be best for all. We pray for those who are anxious and distressed by lockdown by the rules coming from the government. We pray for those who have been furloughed, for those who have been made redundant, for those who are struggling to make ends meet, and for those who are anxious about putting food on the table. We give thanks for the work and generosity of the food bank. We give thanks for all those who help to support it, and we pray for all who need it. We pray for all those who are being rehoused by the council. We pray that this be the new start that they need, that they can go on to, to lead happy lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As the wind and the storms arrive, we pray for those who are being battered by the storm. We pray, Lord, that you would send your kindness and your peace upon them. We pray for those who are living in unsettled times and for those who need your calm. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Merciful Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray for those whose mental health is suffering. We pray for those in the grips of addiction. We continue to pray for Davy and for his recovery. We pray for those who are sick at this time. We pray for Megan. We pray for Ronnie as he recovers from surgery. And we pray for Susanna. For Susanna who is sick at this time. We pray for their families who are anxious for them. We pray for those who are caring for them. We pray for their safe return from illness. We pray for their long lives. We hold before you, Lord, all those who are sick and weighing on our minds at this time. And we pray for those who are known to you alone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are reaching the end of their lives and those who have recently lost their lives. We pray particularly for Jean and for Terence. We pray for their families as they come to, to terms with their loss. We pray for those who are grieving and mourning. We pray for those who have those scars of loss that will not heal. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of all, govern the hearts and minds of those in authority and bring the families of the nations, divided and torn apart by the ravages of sin, to be subject to his just and gentle rule, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please do join me tomorrow at 9am and again at 5pm for morning and evening prayer. And this Sunday at 9.30, St Thomas's will have their streamed fun on Sunday morning service. Uh, St Mary's will have their streamed uh, um, Eucharist at 9.30. And then afterwards they will be cross-linked. So if you see one, you can come and uh, join in with the other afterwards. Um, the fun on Sunday morning service will be on YouTube at half past nine and the Eucharist will be uh, posted after it has finished uh, being streamed on Facebook. But until we can see each other again, God bless, stay safe and have a very good evening.